guys and girls, welcome to another unboxing video. And today, after three weeks, we have July's Click Crates. Now, hmm, five boxes showed up in one day. Today, I got two Click Crates boxes, one being this one, one being the 6.0. In fact, That's the 6.0 box. It's not as big as what it normally is, but it's the 6.0. We have Super Loot. The American box, the world's finest. And the amazing mystery box all showed up today. What? So yeah, so... Uh... So there we go. So we are doing July's. Now I've had a little bit of a mish around with the setup, hence the microphone being here again, like it was when we first started. I've been doing a lot of streaming lately because uh, for three weeks, one tends to get bored. So I've been doing some streaming. I've been uh, focusing a lot on Twitch lately. Um, so I've been doing that. So that's why when we do, oh God, I'm out of breath. When we do the 6.0 box, we're going to be streaming it on Twitch, and it's going to be Monday, this coming Monday, the 20-something or other. What is it? 20, what is Monday's date? Give me two seconds. I've got a calendar by you. Uh, Monday, Monday the 22nd. Yeah, Monday the 22nd of this month, August, at 7 p.m., I will be live streaming the 6.0 unboxing. We're going to do the reviews and the pricing all while we're streaming. So uh, if you want to go check that out, I put a thing on the community page. Um, if not, just go to Twitch and search Solid Snake 2662. And uh, so Monday at 7 p.m. I will be doing that. For those that don't have Switch, can't get Switch or whatever, I will then download and upload to YouTube what we did on Twitch so that then you can watch it at a later date. So, because we have these boxes as well, I'm planning on releasing one box per week. Um, so there's at least four weeks worth of content here. Um, and then obviously the Click Crates August box is still due. And then we also have a Click Crates DC box, which is still due because I've paid for two and only received one. So there we go. So without further ado, that's the intro. That's the admin out of the way. Without further ado, let's get into July's Click Crates. Woo! Um, so as per the usual, anything that comes out of the box, if it is good, I'm going to give it an up. And if it's not so good, I'm giving it a down. And then we do pricing at the end to make sure that what we get in the box is worth the volume which we pay for. So let's crack on. So I'm putting it on the floor, so we're going to get into it this way. So, same thing. Ooh, it's a magnet. Oh, it's a magnet. Okay. Original Stormtrooper magnet. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put my glass off. This looks quite official. This is very heavy. Sorry, I didn't show you. But if you don't know what a Stormtrooper looks like by now, then you need to go do one. So anyway, it says, Original Stormtrooper Helmet Magnet in 1976, prop maker Andrew Ainsworth of Sheppington Design Studios created the original Stormtrooper helmets and armour for the first movie. There is no punctuation in that sentence at all. Um, these products are based on the original moulds Andrew produced, as close as it is possible to get to the original film prop. So... I don't think I'm going to be taking that out of the pack because that seems rather special. And there's even like a little signature on the bottom. So, uh, but that is an up. That is stunning. Stunning, isn't it, Bat? Um, what's this? <laughs> what the heck is this? It's, it's Batman's cowl. But I saw there, it says Superhero Shades. Oh, let's take my glasses off. I don't need those now. What the heck? This is uh, madness. Okay. Oh, they are. They're sunglasses. Oh, how does that look? Well, um, 
that's new superhero shades i don't think they're gonna protect you from like you know from the side i don't, I don't think i'll wear these in work in all fairness but just out of the sheer comedy and uniqueness of them i am gonna have to give that one an up the stormtrooper magnet wasn't up just in case i forgot to do that but that is pretty uh that's hilarious fair play more package right uh overwatch phone stand and grip focus there we go so that's i've never had one of those before what is it is it one of those where you stick it to the back of your phone and then it slides between your fingers so you can hold your phone that might be interesting i'm not going to use it because i have a ring that pulls out of the uh um the case but that's pretty cool oh like that. that's an app Oh my gosh. Right. Ooh, there's a big... There's a big box. Ah, this is huge. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, this is... Um, He-Man, Masters of the Universe. And this is Skeletor. On what? On Knights. I didn't know what his, uh, his ride was called, but it's on Nightstalk. I don't know if you can see that. That is pretty fantastic. Wow, that's massive. That is huge. Fair play. That's, I did, in all fairness, I haven't played He-Man. Played He-Man? I haven't watched He-Man in years. She-Ra was another thing. That was that was in the same franchise. That was awesome. Um, I could go on for reminiscing about old cartoons I used to watch, but that's enough. That is good. That is good. There's a lot of boxes. Uh, oh, okay. I've seen these in like HMV. They're like weird. They're like pops, but they're not pops. But they are. It's a, Oh, it's a pin badge. That's why. If I've seen the Harry Potter ones um, more than anything. And this is Falcon. There is Falcon. So it's, it's one massive pin badge. And considering what? That's my hand. So it's as... It's like it's almost like the size of my hand. That is mad. I'm not going to open it, but I will keep it in its box. That may go on eBay. In all fairness, um, so we'll see how much um, we'll see how much that brings. But that most likely will go on eBay. Is that it? Oh no, there's one more item. One more item. It's a mug. It's a Harry Potter large mug. Foil print. Gryffindor Seeker. And there we go. I do have an absolute ton of mugs um, to sell on eBay. But I am so paranoid about them breaking in transit. I haven't put them on eBay yet. Because I'm it's like, well, do I put them? And then I've just got to refund everybody's money in case they break. I don't know. But there we are. So that is a Gryffindor Seeker Harry Potter mug. It's large. In all fairness, I think my missus will want to keep this one. Because she loves Gryffindor and Harry Potter and all that malarkey. Is it dishwasher safe? I don't know. Let's check it. I don't think it is because it says foil print. Oh no, not dishwasher or microwave safe. Do not. hand. Well, it's hand wash only with warm water. Oh, well, that's disappointing. But there we go. But it's enough. It, it's nice. I'll never use it because I'm lazy and I don't wash anything. I let. That's why we have dishwashers. What's the point in creating mugs that you can't put in a dishwasher, people? For God's sake. So that's everything. That is a, that's a pretty decent haul. Fair play. It's almost like it's worth waiting for. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to disappear off to some prices and I'll be back in a tick. So after doing some prices on the Internet, we have a total, which is, I have to admit, it's pretty. It's a, it's, it's a good total. It's good. It's really good. In fact, it's worth waiting for a total. But there we go. So let's start, well, we'll just, uh, right, so the Overwatch, that's coming in at £4, okay? I didn't know, well, I didn't know, I didn't think it was going to get much, but the Overwatch thing, £4. And the Stormtrooper Magnet, that's coming in at a fiver. So that's the little stuff out of the way. So, 
uh, because this is a pop item, um, I did actually look at it on the Tinterweb as well. It's generally coming in around, not eBay, but it's generally coming in around about the £15 mark. The Funko app says that that right now is worth 14 So I go with the, fu for the Funko app for Funko products, and that's 14 So I'm giving it 14 um, The Harry Potter mug is coming in at around about the £8 mark. And then the Skeletor um, Doodah, this on the Funko app is coming in at £19. So just the two Funko items takes it well over 30 quid, and then everything else is a bit of a bonus. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh my god! Uh <laughs> God, I completely forgot I was wearing these while I was doing the prices. Oh my God! Right, um, I've got, I've completely forgot how much these were. This was the first thing I researched. I was like, I had a problem on my head. Oh my God. Um, what did you come in as? Oh yeah, right. So on Amazon, you can buy this for about eleven quid ish. Um, there is a place in America, America though, um, that's char only charging like seven dollars. Uh, but to get it into this country, you'd have to pay the shipping and everything. So uh, shall we go somewhere halfway and say like nine quid for these? They are pretty funky, though. Fair play. I absolutely love them. That's why I wore them doing the pricing. But there we are. Uh, so the uh, the Funko, they're not Funko. They're, uh, it's been a long day. Um, the, the Batman glasses, they come, let's say, nine quid. So the, the total for this, uh, God almighty. The total for this box is absolutely fantastic. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping come Monday at 7pm on Twitch, Solid Snake 2662 I'm hoping that the Click Crates box is just as impressive. But I am slightly worried because it's significantly smaller than the previous mega boxes that we've had. Watch this space is all I'm saying. So, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, that's all gone. Um, so yeah, so Monday 7pm Twitch search Solid Snake 2662. There is a link on my community page because I did a post about it earlier. There's a link on my Twitter page. Um, just go to Twitch. You know the name. And uh, and then 7pm is around about the time that I'm hoping to start. For those of you, for the, for those of you that can't make 7pm on Monday... Don't worry about it because I will obviously make a recording or something and then I will edit it slightly and then just bang it out on YouTube so you will be able to watch it. It won't be at 7pm on Monday obviously because we'll be live streaming it. Um, it might come, uh, It might even. I might even wait and release it Tuesday if I've got a bit of editing to do so Monday night might be too late. But either way, it'll be out at some point next week. And then the rest of the boxes thereafter. So we've got the Super Loot, the Amazing Mystery Box, and the one from America, the World's Finest. I'm hoping to release one box every single week on Friday at 6pm. So we've got after... So yeah, so I've got basically I've got like four weeks worth of content. Plus, by that point, August Click Crate should be with us. So that's another week's worth of content. And a, a DC box, Click Crates DC box. So, um, so there we go. So anyway, I shall see you again soon. Hope to see you on Twitch Monday at 7pm. And uh, that's it from me. Ta-da!